Welcome back to my channel. It's Mary here from Layers of Chic. I hope you've been enjoying my style videos for the past few weeks. Today I'm going to be talking about how to style one shoulder tops and asymmetrical tops. So this has been a huge trend in the past few seasons. So I thought I would show you guys today a few outfit ideas on how to style them. And I'm going to show you guys two different tops. One is a one shoulder top and one is an asymmetrical top. And I'm going to give you guys three different outfit ideas for each top. So let's get started. So this is the first top and it's a one shoulder top from Hot Roach. And I really like this top because it is in a very neutral color and the material is also cotton. So it's very comfortable and it's more of a basic top when it comes to one shoulder tops. But what makes this top interesting is that it has this really pretty ribbon detail that you can tie around the waist. So it makes it a little bit more feminine and girly. So for the first outfit for this top, I'm going to style it in a super casual way. So I'm going to pair this top with these high rise blue cut boyfriend jeans from American Eagle. And I really love the fit of these because they're not too tight, but they're still super flattering because they are high waisted and they hit just above the ankle at a really good length. And I just love the simplicity of this outfit and by pairing it with jeans, it really allows the top to be the statement piece in this look. And I'm gonna finish off the outfit with these asymmetrical feather earrings. And one thing I love about one shoulder tops is that you can pair them with asymmetrical earrings. So I like having this here so that it's longer since I've got like a bare neck here and then this one is shorter. And you guys will see what that looks like once I put everything on. So this is the first outfit on and I paired this top with high waisted jeans and the reason it's that is because this is a cropped top so it does look really good with high waisted jeans. I love these jeans, I don't usually do a boyfriend fit but these fit really really well and they look super flattering. I love how they cut off here at the ankle and I like how it's like a little bit frayed. And in order to add more height to this outfit, I decided to go with my velvet coach clogs just to give this look like an edgier vibe. And for this one shoulder top, I wanted to leave my neckline bare so that you kind of really can see the line of the top. And then I did these asymmetrical earrings to further play off this one shoulder situation. And I chose this little vintage blue bag because it actually matches the color of my heels and you guys know I love to be matchy matchy. And I also like how little it is. And also with one shoulder tops, I don't necessarily like to wear a strap here because it kind of messes up the line. So I like bags that you can like put on your hand. So the second way I'm going to style this top is in a more feminine look. So because this top is pretty tight on the body since it is this cotton material that really kind of binds the body and because it is cropped, it looks really good with a wide flared circle skirt like this one. So the two of this combined is going to be really flattering on the figure and it's also really going to slim the waist. So this is the second outfit on and I absolutely love pairing a fitted top with a big circle skirt because it really does accentuate your waist and especially for this one shoulder top because it does have this really darling bow detail here it even further jaws the eye to the waist and kind of makes your waist look thinner. This is one of my favorite skirts of all time from Chic Wish. I think it's just absolutely made for me. I love the color combination. It's so much fun. And playing off of the bow on this top here, I also decided to go with my bow heels in this really pretty purple color that also kind of picks up on the colors of the skirt. And then I also went with a bow clutch because why not? And then for one more bow, I also went with my vintage bow choker. And I really like pairing chokers with one shoulder tops because again, it doesn't interfere with the line of the top while still adding a little bit of sparkle to your neck. So for the last outfit with this asymmetrical top, what I like to do is actually style it with 
an oversized cardigan and the way that this works is that it's really fun to kind of wear like the cardigan a little bit off the shoulder on one shoulder so that you can show off the pretty one shoulder detail of the top and for this outfit to create a more of a boho relaxed look I'm also going to go ahead and pair it with these relaxed printed pants they're super loose and comfortable and they'll balance out the tightness of the top and will look really good with this oversized cardigan So this is the third outfit on with the one shoulder top. This is definitely a more relaxed and boho look. So I was inspired to do these pants because they are more relaxed style and they go really well with the more fitted top. And I also like how the color in the pants picks up on the color of the top. For this look, I decided to go with my super chunky and soft pink cardigan that I got in Asia that I'm so obsessed with. And the way that you can wear this is simply just to wear one shoulder off the shoulder so that you can still see the really pretty one shoulder detail and it kind of also adds to like the relaxed effortless vibe of this outfit. And since these pants do have like a pajama like feel, I decided to go with these slippers from Birdies. So these slippers can be worn indoors or outdoors, they're really good quality, they're genuine leather. So for this I decided to use these slippers to add to like the relaxed PJ vibe of this outfit and then lastly I went with my vintage handbag again. So the second top I'm going to show you guys is this cold shoulder asymmetrical top and this is definitely more of a statement top than the first top. So I really love this shoulder cutout here and it's also got this really pretty ruffle situation and it is a really nice striped top so it does look really good for work outfits so i'm going to show you guys a few different outfit options with this i'll show you guys a work outfit option a casual outfit option then a statement outfit so the first outfit is going to be a work outfit and i'm going to pair the top with these houndstooth pants and this just creates a really chic look for work that's still interesting. I really like the mix of these two prints. Even though they are a different color and different prints, they kind of are still in the same family. So it does look like they go really well together. And then I'm also going to add this Dooney and Burke shoulder bag. So what I love about this bag when it comes to this top is that the strap on this bag is actually double-sided. So as you can see, it's purple on one side and then orange on the other. And I love pairing it with the orange strap so that the strap actually really pops against that shoulder cutout that you have. So it's really cute. And this bag is also such a good size for work because it is a medium size and it just goes over your shoulders and leaves you hands free. So this is the first outfit on with the asymmetrical ruffle cutout top. So this is a really great outfit for work. As I mentioned, these two prints go really well together because they are sort of in the same family and these pants are super streamlined and they look very professional, especially with this top. And I do like the looser flare fit of these pants. I feel like they're a little bit more updated than your typical work trouser. And for my shoes, I decided to add a touch of spring with these heeled sandals and I do love the color. They're a really, really pretty, like rich purple color. And I think they look really good with these pants because the pants are cropped so that you can still see the ankle strap on these sandals. And then my favorite part of the outfit is this shoulder bag with this cutout. So as I mentioned, I really love the fact that the orange really, really pops, especially against the bare shoulder detail here. I just think it looks so cute and that this is like a combination that's made for each other. And I also like this bag with this outfit because it is purple and my shoes are also purple. So it does tie the outfit together nicely. So the second outfit I'm going to show you guys is definitely a statement outfit. And for me, sometimes I just love matching prints print on print, the bolder the better. So for this one, I'm going to pair it with this striped printed asymmetrical skirt. So this together, 
basically looks like they could be a set. It looks like it could be a dress. The skirt also has an asymmetrical ruffle hemline. The top has an asymmetrical detail and a ruffle detail. So I am just loving the combination of this together. And for this look, I'm gonna pair with these white leather sneakers. And these sneakers are white and blue, so they do match the color palette of this outfit. And I just really like pairing it with this because it is more of an unexpected styling choice because this outfit is definitely like more on the cool and trendy side. Pairing it with these black sneakers kind of keeps with the fun vibe of this look. So this is the second outfit on with the asymmetrical top and I am absolutely living for this outfit. I love a print on print and this just goes so well together. As I mentioned, the top has this ruffle detail. So does this skirt. This is one of my favorite skirts ever from Chicwish. Chicwish does have the best skirts. I've worn so many of them before and I just love the asymmetrical hem on the skirt and all the fun ruffles in this outfit. And this outfit is like so springy. It makes me so excited for spring. And for the shoes, I did go with an unexpected choice. I went with these white leather sneakers from Coach. And they just have a very clean look to them. And I do love the blue floral detail on them. And I just think they make this outfit a little bit more cool and trendy. Very like street style. And then I also went with this white striped bucket handbag going with the striped theme of the outfit. And it is in a white and navy print so it does match the rest of this look. And the last outfit for this asymmetrical top is to simply pair it with white jeans. So I love the combination of a crisp pair of white jeans with this really pretty blue color. I think it's such a great outfit for spring. It just looks so fresh and crisp. And to add a pop of color to this outfit, because you guys know that I have to add a pop of color to every look, I'm gonna pair it with these pointed floral heels. And lastly, to complete this look, I'm gonna go with this yellow handbag that picks up on the yellow in the heels. This is the last outfit on for this asymmetrical top and I got these white jeans for a super casual look. I love the look of white with this blue striped top. I think it's super, super clean and it really does remind me of spring. And again, I do really like that it's high waisted so I can tuck this top in because this top is a little bit on the longer side. And then for my jewelry, I actually added these white earrings because I feel like they go really well with this white ruffle here. They kind of play off of each other really nicely. And for my shoes, I went with a pop of spring with these floral pointed heels. I really love the color on them. They're just super fun. They also add a little bit of height since these jeans hit at the ankle length. And I also like the step hem on these jeans and how they look with the heels. And then lastly, I went with another pop of color with this yellow handbag and I really like how the yellow handbag picks up on the yellow in the shoes. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video on one shoulder and asymmetrical tops. They're a really great piece for transitioning from winter to spring. Please let me know what else you guys would like to see in the comment box below. I'm always happy to make videos based on requests. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and give me a subscribe. And you can also get more outfit ideas on my Instagram at layersofchic underscore. And I will see you guys next time.